Hi everybody and welcome back. So today we've got a new RTA. This is actually a big daddy, like not really huge, but it's a big daddy. This one is actually a 28.4 millimeter RTA. This is the new one from Hellvape. This is called the Fat Rabbit RTA. And this is, like I said, a 28.4 millimeter RTA. It's got dual airflow system. And I don't mean that it's got two slots, one on each side. I've actually mean that it's got bottom and it's got side airflow. It holds 5.5 mils of e-liquid and um, yeah, pretty easy to build on. We're gonna go down. I'm gonna show you everything that it comes with. We're gonna actually put a build on it. I'm gonna show you how to wick it and all that good stuff. And then we're gonna come back up at the end and we're gonna talk about it. So let's go ahead and go down and look at the Fat Rabbit RTA by Hellvape. Okay, so here we are with the Hellvape Fat Rabbit RTA. This does have like all the specifications and information inside. You're going to get a baggie of O-rings and also some extra screws. It does take flathead screws, so they give you additional flathead screws. You're also going to be getting a baggie that has that have two coils in it. They are made of Nichrome 80 and they are fused Clapton's and some cotton. You're going to get a coil cutting tool. Now this is uh, based off of the original coil cutting tool was actually made by Coily. And this is the original one. This is the one that I use all the time because you can also use it to measure how long you need it based off of your atomizer. So I use this all the time, but they do give you a little mini one if you want to use it or you don't have a Coily tool. And it's clearly indicated right there. A six millimeter length coil. So the legs will be six millimeters long and then you're going to get a barbie screwdriver so a little flathead screwdriver you're going to get a spare glass but it does come with one installed they are both the same size and they both hold 5.5 mils of e-liquid so here is the rta now this rta is a big it's a fat it's a fatty it's a it's a fatty <laughs> it does say fat rabbit right there you've got the fat rabbit logo right there it is 28.4 millimeters in diameter not sure why it's 0.4, but it's 28.4 millimeters in diameter. You do have a protruding 510 pin. On the top, you do have an 810 drip tip, but it's not just a standard one in the sense of this one is actually anti condensation. So a lot of people have actually messaged me about condensation and their drip tips. This is actually to prevent that. So this is specially made to prevent um, any type of condensation building up in the drip tip. And of course you can use any size 810 without O-rings um, into in this RTA. Now on the top it is a quarter turn opening so that you can get into the fill port and they're huge huge size kidney holes um, like you would never make a mistake filling. You never want to fill down the middle only down the side so make sure that you do that. It does have the little notches right there to lock into place and it just quarter turn closes it and you're done. Just make sure that you wait it's more of a half turn. They say quarter turn, but it's more of a half turn. When you put it in a quarter turn, it feels like it's closed, but you want to press more and you'll feel it close all the way. If you leave it a little bit open, there is a chance of leaking. So if you do have any type of leaking based off of your build or your cotton or your coils and nothing's wrong, check that. Make sure that it's completely closed. Now on the bottom, you're going to have two types of airflow or dual airflow system. You're going to have side airflow, which is these little, um, these little holes right here where you can cut them down one by one, going from one all the way to four, or you have bottom airflow. There's only two airflow slits right there. They do match up or they do line up with the side airflow and you can turn them. They are on a stopper and whatever you do to one side does happen to the other. Now this one, this can be fully taken apart. What you want to do is you're going to take off the top. And then once the top is off, you can actually unscrew this. And this is how you can actually take off your glass. Um, it doesn't come with a bubble glass or anything like that, which is definitely very disappointing for me because I love bubble glass, but this is how you would take it apart to clean it. You just take the glass off, clean it. And then this is actually the inside where you can see the airflow holes right there. And that's what that looks like. And then it further comes apart. Now I want to show you how to take it apart with it fully assembled rather than it being unassembled because there is a little trick to it. So we're going to go ahead and put that together and then I'm going to show you. Now this airflow again is on a stopper, right? All the way that way, all the way this way. Well, if you push it all the way, it'll go just a little bit more after the, the little click. 
it'll go just a little bit more that if you're turning it this way like when it's closing that's going to be to actually close the deck or to seal the deck but if you open it all the way and go all the way to the locking on this side you hear that push it more and that'll actually go all the way and then you can release the deck you can literally you don't even know that you can do it but it's got a stopper on here so that you can continue to pull out the deck which i kind of like rather than having to unscrew it i really do like that feature of just being able to just lock it into place like that and you're done um, again when you do this make sure that you're pushing it all the way over when you put it back on making sure that it's past that little stopper and then open it back up and there we go pull it out and there we go now this is the inside of the chimney right here as you can see you've got your bottom airflow there and your side airflow right there and then that is the chimney piece right there here is the deck the locking notches actually lock right into there and they scoop in and lock and close now this is a postless deck now on the postless deck you can use dual coil or you can have it a single coil now if you're going to use a single coil you want to make it a little bit beefier than like say a three millimeter it'll work better that way like maybe a four even going up to maybe even a five i think would really do nice in here but you want to keep it kind of low not touching the deck but kind of low now it does have some notches right here just to keep you within that frame um and that way your cotton can peek right over here and it's not going to be like laying there on the airflow now this does have honeycomb type of airflow as you can see right here now it does have the flat head screws on either side right there you've got some right there and then you've got some right there as you can see and um if you notice it's got like a little thing around this side this is actually your positive section and this is your negative that's actually peak insulation through there so that is your positive and here is your negative so you need one leg on one side and one leg on the other so we're going to go ahead and install some coils of course you do have some deep juice wells and then of course this is where your juice flow is so the e-liquid is going to be coming through here what are your cotton to wet your wicks and your coils so that's that's pretty much it for the deck so let's go ahead and put this on a mod and we'll start building on it now again this is a 28.4 millimeter ta so you need something that's going to be able to hold it i do have it on my lost vape grust mod and it fits absolutely perfectly this can hold up to a 30 mil so i knew that it was going to fit it perfectly now for the coils i know that they gave us um coils which are also fused claptons but these are my go-to fused claptons these are from coil clout I've been using them for years and I just, I love their, their quality. So I'm going to actually be using these instead of the ones that came with it. You can go to Coil Clout online. And if you want, you can actually pick up a coily tool as well. They've got cotton, coily tool, and everything else. If you use the coupon code WENDY, all caps, you can actually get a discount because you're my friend. So we know that it's going to be six millimeter. I'm going to go ahead and use my coily tool to go ahead and cut this. So all you need to do is grab a fancy pair of cutters. And what you're going to do is you're going to find the six millimeter hole. You would do the same thing in the one that is provided. You find the six millimeter hole, you turn it over, and all you need to do is just go ahead and cut off the legs and then i'll go ahead and do the other one off camera okay and there we go we've got our coil so now all we need to do is open up the screws so i'm just going to go ahead and put this in here and you can see it opening up right there there we go and then open that up again you can do a really really nice single coil if you want to you just want to make sure that you have enough cotton um, covering those holes so that you don't have any leaking okay there we go really really nice the the threading on those are really nice and then all you need to do is drop in your coils and of course you're going to have one positive one negative so drop those in that one in and then we can go ahead and screw that down okay and then just drop in i love postless decks for that reason all you need to do is just drop in your coils and they're done <laughs> all you need to do is straighten them up afterwards and you're good to go Okay, and now we can go ahead and straighten them out. So what we're gonna do is pull them over to the airflow because we do want the airflow hitting them from the bottom. That's where you're gonna get the best flavor. So I'm just gonna put this one a little bit more and this one a little bit back. OCD baby. Okay, and that's what they look like right there. Fully in, nice and centered. So let's go ahead and start heating them up. Whenever you're heating up your coils, you wanna do it at a lower level so that you're not frying your coils, especially on something like a Fused or an Alien. They do have an outer thin wire clapped around the coil, you know, inner coils. 
So if you burn them out too fast, you can actually damage that, that outer wire. So always make sure that you're, you know, heating them up at a lower wattage. Don't go directly to like 50 or 60. So I do do it between 20 to 30 watts at the max and just pulse it, lightly pulse it. Just go ahead and press your fire button until they start getting nice and glowy. You can strum them or you can just go ahead and press them like this. And sometimes that'll help. Um, other times what I'll do is I'll just pull it out just a little bit like this, just to separate those little coils. I do it all with my ceramic tweezers, which I highly recommend not using metal. And then just keep going ahead and pulsing. Getting all those hot spots out. There's one there. And we've got them heating up nice and even. So let's go ahead and put some cotton in and get her waked up. And for my cotton, as usual, I'm gonna be using my Kendo Vape Cotton Gold Edition. This is the one I've been using for years. And then what you're gonna do is you're just gonna take your cotton and put it through your coil. Make sure your coil has um, had time to cool off. You don't wanna do this if it's hot. You can burn yourself. And then I'm just twisting up my cotton like this, just in case you want to know. Just twisting it up and then making sure that it's got like a little pointy in. It makes it easier to bring it out. Okay, so that is that. Let's go ahead and fluff out our cotton. Now we want to make sure that we have enough to go in those um, liquid channels, the wicking channels, so that it's actually going to absorb the e-liquid, but it's going to be able to absorb it and also not let it through too much. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually just go ahead and cut it right to this deck, just like that, on both sides. And then I'm just going to take my cotton and I'm going to go ahead and place it right there. Okay, so I've got my cotton in there. Just, It's not all the way to the bottom, but it's right at the bottom of this hole. And I'm just gonna separate it out, fan it out right like that. And there we go, that's one side. I'll go ahead and do the other. It's in there right there, just gonna fan it out. Straggly, get back in there. Okay, fan it out right on the bottom. And there we go. And now I'm gonna go ahead and put some e-liquid on it. And if you haven't seen my review, I don't know where you've been because this I've been raving about for a couple weeks now. So yeah, so this is actually like a cucumber and watermelon. It is so, so good. If, if you haven't heard me rave about it, I don't know where you've been, but yeah. Really, really great flavor. So I know exactly what this tastes like. I liked it so much after my review that I went and I bought four more. Let's go ahead. And what we're doing now is just saturating the coil. And the reason why we're doing that is because we want the cotton within the coil to get nice and saturated um, so that you don't have any dry hits, any ramp up time or anything like that. As long as your cotton is actually saturated within the coils, you're good to go. Go there and just a little bit on the ends, making sure that that's all nice and wet. We can actually put this on like this. You can feel your way. Okay, and then just push it down and turn and you don't even have to take the deck off really really nice it's on there it's really really on there you don't have to worry about it i'm going to fill this so i'm going to go close off the airflow closing that off opening it up quarter turn from the top and blah the juice 5.5 milliliters of e-liquid close that up open up that airflow and we got it ready and there we go. So that is the Hell Vape Fat Rabbit RTA. Let's go ahead and take it on top. We're gonna have a vape and I'm gonna let you know how I feel about it. Okay, so here we are back on top with the Fat Rabbit RTA by Hell Vape. Before anything, we're gonna go ahead and have a vape and then we're gonna go ahead and do a couple more vapes different ways and then we'll get right into my thoughts and opinions. Okay, so here we go. All the way, oh, by the way, everything is open. Bottom and side, fully wide open. Let's have a beat. If you like flavor, 
and you like a lot of airflow, this is the configuration to have it. Bottom open, side open. You get both, I mean, literally like juice in your mouth flavor without having the juice in your mouth. You know what I mean? So yeah, so you're getting flavor and you're getting a lot of airflow. I really love the airflow with both of them open and it's not diminishing the flavor at all. You're getting full on flavor. Really, I know exactly what this e-liquid e tastes like. This is, I, I'm, I really like it all the way open, but that's just me. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna close off the bottom, but I'm gonna leave the side. So let's go ahead and close off the bottom and I'm only leaving the side open. Let me see, can you see that? Yeah, so the side's open, bottom's closed. Let's have a vape. <laughs> I'm kind of crazy because to me, it sounds like a little bit tunnel-y kind of noise, but I don't mind it. I actually like that type of noise. It means that I'm getting a lot of airflow in it. So that side airflow, to be honest with you, is like really a lot of airflow for just side with the bottom closed off. It's really, I think it'll surprise you in the amount of airflow that you would have that way. Now we're going to go ahead and have one more vape and then we're going to swap out and put the bottom airflow open and the side airflow closed. Okay, so now I'm going to close off the side airflow, open up the bottom airflow. So now we've got side closed and bottom opened. And let's have a vape. Still getting amazing flavor, but it is restricting it a little bit. It's giving it like I had the full airflow. Even with the side, just the side, I got really a lot of airflow. It was not restrictive at all. When you use the bottom without the side, you're gonna get a little bit more restrictive. Is it like mouth to lung restrictive? No. Is it like restrictive direct lung? Not in the sense of like almost mouth to lung, but it is restricting it some. So now it feels more like, like maybe like the intake RTA, the, I'm trying to think of them, the blotto RTA, like that it's it's bringing the restriction just a little bit it's not restricting it all the way but it is giving some restriction now what i'm going to do is i'm actually going to go ahead and open up some holes on the top i'm going to actually open up two holes on the top with the bottom fully wide open and let's go ahead and have a vape now flavor <laughs> it's really really good flavor on here i really i'm really liking it um, this way is opening up that restriction just a little bit, but not too much. It's still not as airy as having all the holes open with the bottom flow, with the bottom airflow. But, um, for me, I'll take it that way. I'll take it not, I, I don't like a restrictive vape personally. So I would like it all the way open or having like two to three holes open at the minimum too. Either way that you're doing the configuration, you're going to get spot on airflow any way that you do it. I personally like it all the way open on both. I like my flavor and my clouds. That's just me. That's the way that I vape. That's that's my vaping style. Now let's go over some key points to this. Now, first of all, the pros, I'm going to go ahead and talk about it. The first pro is going to be flavor. This thing kicks ass with flavor. It's really, really good with flavor. The second thing is, is that it's giving you so many different options. I love options and in one RTA you're getting options. You can close down the top, you can close down the bottom, you can figure a, you can configure a little bit of the bottom, some of the top. You can configure this to way the way that you vape. Not the way that I vape, but the way that you vape, which I absolutely love that. Another pro is going to be all the goodies that come with it. You're getting coils, you're getting cotton, you're getting the little coily tool if you don't have one already. You're getting everything that you need plus a spare glass. So I think that that's great. Um, did they give you an extra drip tip? No, but this one is very, very comfortable. Plus you can use any of your own 810 drip tips. Another pro for me, I feel like it's very, very smooth. The only time that it felt a little bit turbulent was when the bottom was closed and only the side was open. It's because it's got like that tunnel 
um, feeling to it. it. It's a little bit turbulent, but not where it would be uncomfortable. But I, I like the sound of turbulence, but that that's what you're going to get. So if you want it more smoother, you want to use like the bottom and some of the side, but you don't want to use just the side if only if you don't like the little bit of turbulence. Other than that, I think that it's great. You've got side airflow. You've got bottom airflow. Um, you've got, it's a 28 0.4 millimeter. I love big Addies. I'm just a big Addy fanatic. I've always liked like 30 millimeters, you know, 28 millimeters. Really, really, I always lean towards those. For some reason, that's just, that's what I like. Now on to my cons. There are a few cons. They're not, they're, they're not like major cons. Like I wouldn't like this RTA. If I was to go out, if I, if I had a choice to go out and buy it, would I buy it? Yes. Um, I would recommend it for those that like big Addies, that like big airflow, that like to restrict their airflow, that like dual coil, that like single coil. I, I would recommend it. It's really, you can configure it any way that you want it. So it kind of meets a lot of those vapors out there. Now, my first con on this, and this is kind of my major con, but this is like a major subjective con. It doesn't have a bubble glass. That to me is like a con. I, I mean, instead of giving you another straight glass, I feel like they should give you a bubble glass. Um, so that you have more e-liquid capacity. 5.5 milliliter e-liquid capacity isn't bad, but for something this size, you need e-liquid too. You don't just want a big Addy, but you want big e-liquid capacity as well. So for me, I really, and it is kind of a con for me, this part is that it should have been no less than a milliliter juice capacity with like a bubble glass. Um, I, or even with a straight glass, I just feel like they can do it because there's others out there that I use daily that I can use, I can fill it for 25 milliliters. So, and, and I'm filling it quite a few times during the day. So with this one, I'm literally filling it all the time because of the fact that it's only 5.5 milliliters of e-liquid, but that is because I am a chain vapor and I vape, I, I vape all the time. So 5.5 is kind of, you know, for a 28 millimeter or 28.4 millimeter Addy, I think that that's really small. That's all, that's almost like giving you a 25 millimeter with two mil capacity in my personal opinion. So I really would have liked number one, a bubble glass and number two, definitely some, some e-liquid capacity because again, it should be like eight, 10 mil minimum in my personal opinion. The second one in it, this is a subjective con, but for me, it, I don't mind the rabbit on this side, but having fat rabbit on it, I, I think is a con. Number one, you're, you're, it's, it's just, it's there. Uh, it's, it's just, it's words everywhere. Um, I, I don't like that. I really love the colors that they, that they have and stuff. I just don't like having the words. I don't mind the rabbit, but I think the words are a little bit much. You kind of know it's a fat rabbit if you have it. Um, I don't think that it's needed, but that's just my personal opinion. The, the next thing is, and it's, the deck is easy to open, but you have to remember how to do it. Again, it, the airflow is on a stopper. So as soon as you hit, you can, you can even, you know, just wiggle it around, go open, go close, and you can feel the stopper. Once you get to the stopper is when you're going to push it a little bit more and it's either going to close it or it's going to open it if you're on the open side. Um, just make sure that you do that. It's really, really easy to do if you know what you're doing. If not, you're just like, how does this work? I'm sitting here going around. I'm, I'm going back and forth and it, that's all you need to do. Just get to the stopper and push it a little bit more. If you want to open it, push it to the left. If you want to close it, you're going to move it to the right. That's it. And you'll feel it. You will feel it. And it doesn't come apart or anything like that, which I, I like. And another pro that I did forget to mention is the fact that you can literally take this whole thing apart to clean it. It doesn't seem like a big thing, but it really is when you're cleaning out your atomizers, being able to take it fully apart, I think is really, really great. So, I mean, personally, I really like this. Um, the airflow is just... The flavor is absolutely amazing. Now, I know that there's a little bit of words out there about some collaborations that didn't work out due to some agreements and things like that. Wendy's not here for this. Um, I understand and I feel for those people, but it's literally, um, I do product reviews and that's what I'm doing. I'm reviewing the product. I'm not getting in the middle of those kind of things because um, as far as I know, there's been a little bit of stuff on either side. So since I don't know for sure, 
I'm not going to get in it. And I hope that you're not either down in the comments. I would like you to be nice about this. If you're talking about the atomizer, find anything else. I really don't want to get in the middle of it. And I don't want to start like a war in the comments. Um, because this is again, just a review. It's my review. Um, and I have nothing to do with any of those things. I'm going to give you my honest opinion, my honest thoughts and what I like and what I don't like. Um, but I had to make that spiel because I know that there's going to be a lot of stuff going on in the comments and I, I really don't think that it's necessary. Um, if you like it, if you like a lot of airflow and you like a lot of flavor, I think that you'll like it. If you like to have that ability to close it down and make it a little bit more restrictive and make it yours with a lot of flavor, I recommend it. Um, if you like 28 millimeter Addies, don't let the 0.4 scare you. <laughs> it's a really good size atomizer. It looks absolutely amazing on my Gress Mod and I'm usually um, with my 30 millimeter atomizer on it. So I know how it was gonna look and it fits absolutely perfect on the grass. It also fits perfect on my Ursa that I use a lot. So yeah, so that's pretty much it for my review. It does come in seven colors. I'm gonna go ahead and leave the colors up here for you. And let me know, number one, what is your favorite color out of the seven? Because you, I'm sure you already know that the rainbow is definitely mine. Um, which I really wish I would have gotten, but I didn't. I got the black. It's okay, though. It's okay. I'm glad that I got it for review because I'm glad that I could bring this to you and show you exactly how to wick it, how to build on it. I think that it's really, really simple um, if you get to know it. When you're putting in that cotton, though, if you feel like it, you're forcing it, take it out, fluff it down, cut it a little bit, put it back in. You're going to absolutely love it. You'll see the bubbles once you put it together and you open up the airflow. Um, make sure that when you are filling it, you're closing the airflow. That is a definite trick to RTAs that not many new RTA users know. Whenever you're filling an RTA, close down the airflow. Close the airflow, open it back up, and you're ready to go. So yeah, so that's pretty much it. Let me know your thoughts down below. What do you think about this atomizer? Do you like bigger Addies? Do you not like them? So yeah, so that's it for my review and I will see you in my next one.